Hi, my name is Mr. Cody Blair, and I'm going to be doing a transmission and rear diff oil change on this 2015 BRZ. I'm going to be using the Motul Gear 300. This is the LS for the rear diff. I have one liter for that, and I also have three other liters of the regular Gear 300, the 75W90. So uh, here's some of the tools you'll need. You're going to need, of course, a jack. Uh, oil pan for the leak, uh, the extra oil, uh, an empty container to throw all your other gear oil in. You're going to need gaskets, the crush gaskets. I'll put those the pictures at the end for what part number they are. You're going to need a 10 millimeter Allen key piece for the bolts. For, uh, a piece of wood is to jack the, the front up. And then a torque wrench, uh, gloves because this stuff's nasty. And then just some other, you know, stuff to get the underside panels off, screwdriver and stuff like that. So I'm going to start by jacking it up, of course. And I'll explain some more stuff as we go along. Uh, hopefully I can make this clear and just really easy if you're going to be doing this. And of course, you always want to chalk the back wheels. I have the brake, uh, the brake on and it also in uh, gear. So... Make sure you have all three of those done. And I'll show you where I'm jacking it up in the front, just to make sure that you're getting the right spot. I'm gonna jack it up pretty high because I want a lot of room. The first jacking spot's gonna be right here in the bar. I already have the jacks ready, I'm gonna put those under. So that's where you wanna put the, the jack stands. So these are also called the pinch points. And uh, like I said, these are the pinch points where a lot of the the body comes together and makes a stronger part for you to jack up the car. And then slowly let down the car. Double check, make sure that uh, you got the right spots. Make sure they're secure. It's not something you want to risk your life on. Alright, so those look good. Always be super careful. We go to the rear now. Now, the reason I'm putting it on all four jack stands is because you want the car level. Slowly let it down on the jack stands, keep an eye on them. I'm going to start with the rear diff since I'm already back here and I'm going to take the top bolt out. I have an oil pan, a ratcheting wrench with a 10 mil Allen, and then of course gloves. And I have this schematic here just to show you all the information how it takes 1.3 liters, torque the bolts down to, and I have the bolts. So I'm going to start draining it. So the first one's right there, the second one's down here. All right, there's the first one. Look at all that gunk on there. So I'm gonna wipe off all this gunk here. This is magnetic. So it catches all the shavings and everything. Now this rear diff, it's recommended that you use the uh, limited slip differential fluid because it has this limited slip of course. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, bottom. You need to get a new crush washer. As you see this one's all crushed. So and I'll show you which orientation you want to do that. So I took it off like this. And as you can see, the rounded part was actually at the bottom, and the flat part was towards the, the actual dip itself. So I'll show you side-by-side -side comparison. You'll see that that side corresponds with this, how that's against the diff, and then the rounded part actually was against the bolt itself. So this will go against the bolt like that down. 
which makes sense because you want the most contact surface to the actual rear diff you can get. Looks like this is all sort of drained out now. Wipe it up a little bit. Make sure you have that magnetic uh, drain plug all cleaned up. This is actually didn't look as bad as I thought it would. I just want to get a torque bar here or a torque wrench. I got this from uh, Harbor Freight. I mean, I'm not trying to be a professional at doing this. So $20 isn't bad. You're going to need to go to 35 pounds. It's actually, I have the schematics right here. It says you want right here, 36.1. So I'm just going to do 37. There we go. Go until you hear that click. I'll go grab the oil. All right, since the rear takes 1.3 liters, I have the gear uh, LF, one liter, and then I'm gonna top it off with just the regular 300, uh, the non-LS. So, and the weight is 75.90. So you're gonna take this red cap, you're gonna remove this ring here, and then take this up, and pull it all the way up. It's a little green, oh, that's weird. Didn't expect that. <laughs> So, and then this cap should come right off. And then of course, just add it in. So it should take this whole bottle. It's nice to get these bottles because you don't have to get a pump. All right, that's all I'm gonna get out of that bottle. I'm not sure how much is still in there, but I got the majority of it out. I'll let that seep out for about a minute and then I'll check it with my pinky and see if I can feel the level in there. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna put this, clean this up, make sure there's no dirt grime on it and then uh, put it back in, of course, with the new washer. So take the old one off. Again to 37 pounds. Okay, 37. That's good. Like I said, I'll post these, uh, I'll post these in the end of the video as like a screenshot. All right, I have some actually uh, ethanol. I should clean up the job just as well. It's actually 200 proof. Get drunk. Clean it all up. Some down here. 200 proof is no joke. All right, and ready to move to the front. For the transmission, looks like we're gonna have to take this plate off all the way around. So we're gonna have to do, it's like this bolt, this one, this, that one. There should be one right there, right there. Now for the transmission, we're gonna have this and this. So you're gonna wanna take the fill rolling off first and then the drain. Now that one smells bad. Get all your other parts ready. I got the gaskets here. Here's the spec, so I'm gonna have to change it to 27 feet pounds per foot. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to change that on torque wrench. All right, as a precaution for the second one, I'm gonna throw this uh, 
this bed sheeting down underneath everywhere that way uh, if it does overfill and shoot out uh, which I imagine is going to happen once I take this one off it'll just spill and get all over this and not the, the concrete and of course change this to 27 feet 27 and then let's go half over I think it's like 27.3 I think it said so that should be good 27 and a half time to remove the second bolt wipe it up a little bit here give me some time to break this one loose all right this is the one I'm afraid about where it's tripping all right got in the pan perfect and you can see all the metal here again Look, you actually see it's metallic. I'm not sure if you see that in the camera. Let me do it up real fast. And I know I said I was going to wear gloves, but... Oh, well. This is actually still pretty hot. I haven't, uh... I just drove it. I will, waited about five minutes, five, ten minutes before I started this video. I let this drain a little bit longer than the rear diff because this takes 2.3 liters and that's why I got an extra you know little bit I got two full liters and then that partial from the uh, the rear so I should have enough there's actually a there's a few pieces of metal here they're a little bit bigger than the most I'll let someone uh, try their uh, driving on it on this transmission maybe it wasn't the smartest thing to have them drive it it's okay though nothing too concerning you just want to make sure you don't have any uh, shavings in the threads that'll really make you have a bad day make sure the threads are really clean chase them with a rag or you know something I wouldn't use any chemicals to actually wipe them out, but uh, just make sure they're clean. I'm going to go get some more of this metal out with a cleaner rag. Now I got that pretty clean. I can't see any, any metal at all. I clean the threads really well. And now I'm going to throw on the uh, a new washer. And this actually doesn't have sides that have like an actual crush washer. So uh, it, it doesn't matter which side you use. I'm not saying the other ones do, but uh, this one doesn't have any differences on different sides. Clean everything up. It's nice living in Arizona where you have no corrosion on anything. Once you take care of your cars and wash it down here, you have no problems with your car. Always hand start. Always clean up a little extra. Just because you can. You're already down here, so might as well do a really good job cleaning. Now time to throw the oil in. This one's supposed to take 2.2, so it should take up about a third of this bottle. Looks like there's a lot coming out. I'll let it seep out for a minute and then make sure you take that gasket off and put the new one on. You don't want to double gasket it. That have a you'd have a bad day. Yeah, I almost added uh almost this whole thing. Once it starts to slow down a little bit, I'll just put put it back in and uh, spray it down, clean it up, and I'll be done. It's good. Take some of this ethanol and clean it all up. And I'm going to put this panel back on. Make sure everything is out underneath the car. Might need those chocks for now. Need those. Now I'm going to go back to the front of the car and release the front of the car first. Oh. 
So I never showed you earlier, but you want to jack it up. We're going to jack it up right here with this block. You don't want to slam it down. I'm just going to take my sweet time. And then go to the rear. You always want to double, triple check that everything is uh, out from underneath your car. You don't want to slam it down on anything. That'd be horrible. Now the car is down on the ground. You're pretty much done. Um, it says they'll probably take like a 100 miles for it to seep into the metal and actually like be able to uh, make a difference in how it drives. So you might not actually notice how it drives immediately and or there at, thereafter. It takes, like I said, a little while for it to notice. So it's gonna be a gradual change. Um, nothing you're gonna know like instantly. Uh, but this gear oil is really high quality. Um, I can't really say anything past that. Uh, if you have any questions, just please let me know. Uh, if you want me to keep doing stuff like this, maybe do a review on how it's driving after, uh, you know, so many miles, let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. One last thing, uh, if you could, just please recycle this stuff responsibly. Uh, care about the environment. You know, just make sure you're taking care of everything and putting it where it needs to go. Please take care of the environment. It's important. All right, we'll bring it to like your local auto zone and uh, help, they can help you get rid of it. Um, you know, call around, make sure that you're getting into the right place. Um, like I said, thank you.